Hey everybody, JRSPC here with another video. Today we're going to the swap meet. Uh, and we're going to do a little video. And at the end of it, I'm going to show you what I get. So stay tuned. Hey guys, I just stopped at Target right quick because it's right next to the swap meet. And as I'm walking in, I see this one guy walking out that I know. Um, and uh, I've seen him I've seen him at the card places before trying to trying to wait for restocks and I got his number I said hey man you know if we all work together we can all find cards for each other he's like yeah that's yeah I go instead of like flipping everything or buying it all and being a vulture and a sh you know I said um, you know we can all work together and help each other he's like yeah great idea and uh, so I get his number I text him a few times said, hey man there's restocks at this store this store this store along with a few other people and Long story short, I see him walking out with his arms full. He's with his wife and he's with a friend. And they got all select football. And I said, hey man, is there anything left back there? And he's like, nope, we got it all. And I said, oh, okay, cool. I go, can I get a couple boxes? And he's like, nope. And I was like, really, dude? I was like, yeah. I go, can, you, can I get one box? And he's like, nope, I, nope, sorry, I can't do it. Uh, you can't let me have one box? He's like, nope, sorry, dude. And I'm like, really dude i go i freaking pointed you out to a bunch of uh restocks and stuff and you can't let me have one box and he's like nope sorry so let it be a lesson guys you know it goes both ways i help you you help me if if i help you and you don't help me that's just a horrible thing it's horrible to let me help you and then for you to just give me the big you know sixth letter of the alphabet with a U after it you know afterwards so karma will get him I'm sure um, he'll never get help from me again so don't think about that one box that he got think about all the boxes he won't get now because he won't get texts from me anymore letting him know when there's a restock so that was my bad I trust people and I try to do the right thing and sometimes it, it backfires on me but it is what it is so, all right, on to the swap meet. Back to the swap meet, guys. Here we go. Over here at the back side, finding some parking. There's Lena, all set up for the swap meet, selling her jewelry, handmade stuff. She makes all this by hand, all these beads and stuff. Say hi, Lane. Hi. All right, everybody, and we are back. And this is the recap of what we got at the swap meet. Uh, and I'll try to tell you the prices as best that I remember them. Uh, let's see. I, was, I bought one thing and was walking back to get some extra money because I had, didn't have enough. And I saw this, so I grabbed this. That's just an old Willie Mays, the Say Hey Kid book. And it's from 1961, I believe. Uh, I paid a whole $1 for it. Let's see. Yeah, right there, 1961, it was done by a sport magazine. Uh, so, and this one right here apparently belongs to Mrs. Richardson's classroom. So that's pretty cool. I like reading these old uh, these old baseball books and stuff. Uh, they're pretty fun. So for a dollar, uh, if anything, it'll look good sleeved and top loaded. Uh, or, you know, bagged and boarded and just used as decoration. But I'll definitely read it. And it's an original life story. Uh, apparently up to the first half of his career. So well, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then the, one of the things that I was getting when I was I was going back to get extra money for when I found that book was I bought a bunch of these. Here, I'll show you here. Uh, I get them all out of my bag. <laughs> I saw these thrown down on the ground, so I instantly knew um, everything about them. <laughs> and I'll explain that here in a minute, but. <laughs> Alrighty, <laughs> drops them on the ground. Uh, these these coins here, 
And I'll show them to you here. There's a lot of uh, Mexican style. Uh, Estados Unidos Mexicanes. Uh, and then, I'm sorry, you can't even see that. So here's the, a picture of them. If you look right here, uh, it says 0 0.720 lei. That means um, silver, 72% pure silver. Uh, the M right there is a, is a uh, mint mark for Mexico City. Um, here's the front of it, 1968. Um, un pesos. So they're just a bunch of, bunch of Mexicans, uh, and, but they're not real silver. Uh, these are knockoffs, I believe. So uh, I paid a dollar a piece for these. And uh, in some places you can get them for uh, less or more. They look like real silver. They sound like silver if you listen to them. But um, but the magnet does stick to them. So they're not real silver. Um, they did these with Chinese coins too. Um, they're pretty cool. I mean, they're, they're, they're totally cool. This one right here says a 900.900 lei, which means 90% silver, which would be like a coin silver. 1947, but again, they're not real. They're, uh, they're knockoffs. This one's from 59. Uh, but they're cool, and uh, we I live in an area uh, with a, a large Mexican population. So these are cool um, and collectible for those guys. This one right here says um, 1882. Um, so clearly not a 100-year-old coin. Uh, just a reproduction. I'm pretty sure the weight's off on these things too, and lots of ways that you can tell that they're not real. So, But totally, totally sellable, uh, even as reproductions, 1872. And uh, what you know, you have to tell people that they're that they're not real. Um, but uh, what I'll do is just uh, make them into some kind of a collectible, like keychains, stuff like that. Um, and I'll sell them as art. So pretty cool though. Some pretty cool ones in there. You know, these early early ones are pretty cool. But um, right here, there's there's 89. Uh, and then the guy said, hey, I got a few more if you want some more. I said, yeah, I'll just buy them all. And uh, and then I'll try to do something with them. But this is what he had left in his truck. <laughs> there's a whole bunch more. <laughs> uh, and these ones right here, uh, there's 160 of them. There's 20 sheets of eight a piece, so 160 more. So we'll, we'll do something with those. I don't know what. But uh, give me one second, I'm going to clean these up. All right, there we go. Got them all cleaned up. So I know some people that make, you know, they make, uh, you know, like keychains and necklaces or that, or these things, and uh, they charge like 20 bucks, and I see them sell a lot of them. So I, I got 250 of those that I paid $250 for. So hopefully I can get my money back pretty quick, and then I won't have anything into the rest of them. All right, next up, I bought a couple of these things. You might be wondering why. Uh, it's just because I had to bundle them with other things to get things for certain prices. But they're pretty cool. Uh, I got this guy right here, and uh, he's he's pretty cool. He's a uh, pretty big. I'm not even sure uh, what character he is, but um, made by uh, probably made by McFarlane or something. Sorry about the lighting. It's uh, my new light setup here. <laughs> um, but he's pretty cool. He's tall. He's got to be. Uh, I don't even know how big he is, but he's freaking huge. He's a uh, over a foot. He's very 14 inches tall. And then, uh, let's see, who he's made by. I don't know, I'll probably saying somewhere in here. But it looks like a McFarlane piece. Really well done. Um, pretty cool. So we got him. Put him over here. There we go. I think it'll stand up. Kind of, sort of. Stand up, buddy. Let's see here. There. I got some other cool ones in here, too, so... All right, I'm going to give up here real quick on the standing up of him. He'll stand up. I just don't want to monkey around with him anymore. All right, I gave up on trying to get him to stand up. Anyways, I got him. And I got these here. Uh, I thought these were here were pretty cool. Um, I don't know if they're worth anything or not, but I thought that they are pretty neat. Uh, it's just a big collection of old Pokemon books. So we got... Um, and these are here are from 99. That's what's when they're dated. Uh, that's got a nice Charizard. Or, that's the original pack art for Charizard on uh, the original base series packs. Here's some more here. But, uh, I got these along with that really big um, uh, action figure. And a couple of these other ones here too. I got these books, the action figure, 
Um, and then I got these other guys too. I am a sucker for uh, for superhero action figures. I always buy them when I see them, and if they're like a buck or something. Uh, Hulk was a little bit more, but I bundled them again, so I'll tell you here at the end what I paid for all these guys. I got those, and then I got. Let's see, this is an old. Uh, uh, that's an old t Tonka. Yeah, there's an old Tonka right there. Um, I got this old. This is an old Tootsie toy from 1970. Old panel truck, 1970. I like the old cars and stuff. They're pretty cool. Uh, here's an old Tonka, old metal bottom bottom Tonka. I got the Made in the USA right there. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully these are coming out clear for you guys. Uh, then we got these two I never seen before, but they were really cool. Uh, I picked up all still the same package here. This is an old steel Tonka. Pretty cool. Um, uh, nice embossed Tonka there. And it's like an old doom buggy type car. Uh, solid metal. And then another one here. It says right there, made in USA. Looks like it's been painted over at one time. But uh, let's see if I can get you a little bit better. See right here, it says made, made in USA right there. Uh, it's another one of the ones like this. Gee whiz, come on. Uh, but pretty darn cool. And in pretty good shape too. So there's those ones. And then this last one right here I got. And I paid $35 for all of this stuff. I got her to throw in a uh, Ninja Turtle. So so for the books, um, for these books right here, Ninja Turtle, the Hulk, and all these vintage cars, uh, plus this giant guy right here who's going to peek his head in. Hello, how are you guys doing? Uh, I paid uh, 35 bucks for all these right here. So, not too bad. Um, I don't think. And then there's more, don't you worry. So, I spent a fair amount of money today because of just, just volume, but I got, uh, I got this right here to add to the collection. There we go. Prince Adam and his horse. I uh, had these back in the day when I was a kid, and uh, they're pretty cool. Not sure what they're worth. Uh, I think Prince Adam's probably worth like, I don't know, 40 bucks, 30 bucks, I don't know. But I got these right here, uh, and I got Man at Arms right here. And I'll just show you the whole collection here I got and tell you what I paid for it. I got this. This is like. This is an old LJN uh, wrestling figure from 1986. It's the LJN company. And that's Corporal or Colonel somebody. I can't remember. And then the last one I got was this right here. King Kong Bundy. Pretty cool. <laughs> Looks kind of creepy, but... <laughs> Hello, everybody. King Kong Bundy here to tell you. Stay in school and don't do drugs. So his face kind of looks more like the guy on Goonies. Uh, hey, <laughs> you guys! That's King Kong, King Kong Bunny, a little dirty. We're gonna clean him up, give him a little bath. Uh, he's from the uh, also from the '86 line of LJN. So, uh, and then I also have uh, to go along with that, and one of the reasons why I bought that, um, and I'll tell you here in a second what I paid for these. Uh, I'll show you my one other LJN that I got here. I bought this one a long time ago. I can't even remember where or when, but I did get it a long time ago. I found it in my storage unit when I was going through stuff. We got the Hulkster. And my lighting is not working out. Sorry about this, guys. Hulk Hogan, LJN. And he's not in great shape. He's got some cuts on him uh, and so on and so forth. Could use some fresh paint uh, but he is an original LJN 1984 so one of the originals from 84 right there uh, got some cuts on his or scratches at least on his on his underwear there but uh, yeah so all these right here minus the Hulk Hogan the uh, man at arms Colonel whoever LJN King Kong Bundy right here uh, and then the he-man and the horse I paid 50 bucks for those uh, five pieces essentially so I didn't think that was too bad um, pretty sure man-at-arms is worth at least 15 or 20 bucks by himself 
Uh, this Adam is worth probably at least 20, 30 bucks. I don't know. The horse is probably worth 15 or 20 bucks. And then these two LJNs got to be worth, you know, at least 20 bucks a piece, I would say. So do the math. It wasn't a bad deal. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, oh yeah, and I also got this one last thing here. I'll show you. Uh, I got a couple other things, but it was for like my sister, my daughter, and Keely. Uh, and, uh, uh, and I got this one last thing, and this thing is the best thing of all. Take a look at it, everybody. That's right, a Husqvarna lawnmower. And it starts up first pull, nothing wrong with it, doesn't burn smoke, self-propelled. Um, I mean, if anything, it needs a couple cosmetic things. Um, doesn't technically need a tune-up, but I'll probably give it one anyways. And... I paid a total of five dollars for it. A guy just didn't want it and didn't want to take it home. Um, probably inherited it somehow. And that's it. Five dollars for a Husqvarna lawnmower that runs. So, <laughs> did I need a lawnmower? No. But was I going to let one go for five bucks? No, I wasn't going to pass that thing up. Show we got us a Husqvarna lawnmower. So, well, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if you like these swap meet pickups and hauls. Uh, and let me know what your favorite thing is in this entire pickup today, okay? You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Later.